Easy-flow geosynthetic drain-filled systems are also a great choice for mound installations. The following section will demonstrate the use of easy flow in a mound. Please note that preparing the site should follow the same steps as shown earlier in this video. Begin by removing plastic packaging film used to protect easy flow during shipment. Place the easy flow bundles in the configuration specified in the design for the particular site. Note that EasyFlow is offered in a variety of diameters and lengths. Contact your local health department or infiltrator systems to learn which system is approved in your area. The bundles containing distribution pipe are joined end-to-end -end using an internal pipe coupler. Aggregate-only bundles shall be butted up against the successive aggregate-only bundles and do not require any type of mechanical connection. Snapping the internal pipe coupler into place is quick and easy. Continue laying out and connecting bundles. Insert the pressure lateral into each easy flow pipe bundle. A vertical inspection port at least four inches in diameter and perforated shall be installed at the distal end of every trench. The inspection port should be located between a pipe containing bundle and an adjacent aggregate only bundle. For easy installation, the inspection port can be vertically placed onto the trench bottom prior to the placement of the pipe bundle and aggregate only bundle. The EasyFlow geosynthetic bundles not containing geo must be covered with 36 to 48 inch wide non-woven geo textile or other approved barrier materials. The end of each trench should have a pipe cap installed. Begin by drilling a hole in the end cap using a hole saw and sliding the pressure lateral through the end cap and then inserting it into the end of each easy flow pipe bundle. Complete the system by gluing the manifolds and flushing assembly pipes in place. For drain filled maintenance and flushing of the pressure lateral, glue a single 90 degree elbow or two 45 degree elbows onto the pressure lateral pipe facing up toward the ground surface.
The flushing assembly should be topped off with a threaded pipe cap. Then cover the system completely by pushing the berm material over the system with a tracked vehicle from the upslope side. Keep a minimum 12 inches of densified cover over the system at all times. Note, no wheeled machinery is allowed on mounds. Tracked vehicles may be used. After the system is covered, the site shall be seeded or sodded to prevent erosion. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about installing Infiltrator products. For more information on the complete line of products offered by Infiltrator Systems, please visit www.infiltratorsystems.com or call 1-800-221-4436.